This is the concrete method for addition. To calculate 176 plus 298, we have to lay out using Deans 176 in the ones, tens and hundreds column, 298 in the ones, tens and hundreds column. So if we look at the ones column, we'll notice that there's 14 ones in there. So what we need to do in that situation is regroup 10 of those ones to, into a 10, which needs to go into the next column up, the tens column. So if we look at the ones column now, you'll see that there's four in the ones column. Now let's look, have a look at adding the tens column. If we count up, how many we've got here? 8 plus 9 makes 17, which is too big to go in the tens column. So we have to regroup 9. We have to regroup 10 of the tens to make 100, which then goes in the hundreds column. How many tens have we got? 6, 7. So we write a seven. And then when we come to count up the hundreds, we've got one, two, three, four. Nice and simple, no regrouping required. So we just write four in the hundreds column. Our answer to our calculation, 176 plus 298 is 474. Okay, so now moving on to the pictorial and the abstract additions because the aim of all of these strategies is to move the children as soon as they're ready onto the abstract. So we'd always show the pictorial alongside the abstract and they can see how the two um, relate. On the pictorial we've used um, dots in the ones column to represent ones, lines in the tens column for tens and squares in the hundreds column to represent hundreds. So looking at the ones column first, if we add um, 6 plus 8, we get 14. We need to regroup 10 of the 1s and place that into the 10s column. On the abstract, we do exactly the same thing. Um, regroup um, the 10s the, the into the 10s column uh, and the 4 in the 1s column because 6 plus 8 makes 14. Now moving on to the tens column, so we've got um, 7 plus 9 plus 1, which is going to make 17. So we need to regroup 10 of those tens into the hundreds column. Which means we've got the 10 tens to make 100 and 7 tens are left because um, 7 plus 9 plus 1 makes 17. And now we turn our attention to the hundreds column, where we have four hundreds.